but talk in peace. And walk the streets where artsy markets be. Many promoters rub on them, but yo, they talk is cheap. Right. Across the street, I see a couple cats sparking beef. beef. Lost to me as I'm through urban youth and heat for cheap prices. I operate my devices. Transmit through speakers to communicate what life is. Give them more than just my two bad knuckles to fight with. Spirit motivated to elaborate that Christ lives. I'm a fan of the slam dance passion and movement. When the chains loosen, crash course exclusive. Landscape destructor with a love for trying to build. Start from scratch to accurately capture what I feel. I'm ill from a contagious sickness. I'm in the midst of individuals channeling energy so intense that it's instant upon exposure. Ready to strike like the cobra. I contend for what I know is truth until the game. Oh, man. You're listening to the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. The show is coming up in about two minutes. Don't go away. Stay tuned. <laughs> Identify with the positive vibe. Optimist opportunities not often the offer options. Dangerous mind with a clear conscience. Open up and you might get it. That's right. I said it. One of the four to testify. You're living like head. If your fault might check tenant. Put it in an Abraham to send it. Better reckon it. Isolate your style so you're not tempted to blend it with the temperament of the popular developing tenements of skill. That's why I make sure my step to the rhythms of original. Skip the bullseye. Common vision ends up in crowded centers. An orthodox approach so I aim for the outer edges. It's about to be on and popping. Show coming up in about a minute and a half. Stay tuned. On and on, I'm on the Odyssey, audit in the product of modern artistry. Don't bother me, I'm honestly starting too hard and too hard. The common songs are talking our problems, but never commenting on proper ways to solve. Call a response from the audience is all the dollar needs to start it all again. Right. All them is said it, our investments would expose the hearts uh-huh. and tenants. All the we're all dissolving. Yeah, no, You're locked and loaded and listening to the Stuart Media and Entertainment Network. Y'all don't hear me, though. The show is coming up in about 30 seconds. Don't go away. Stay tuned. Uh-huh. Solve a bit of numbers while the crowd was getting lost in it. The gathering for unity has proved to be the started yeah, hip-hop is an economist so like don't have a problem with it can't we all just play our role and live the way that god intended yeah. can see when the song is ended try not to be all offended i'm calling the shots intending to water the land in me <laughs> steward media and entertainment let's go <laughs> Yo, 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 check this out, check this out. Wait till they pick up the phone. Check this out. Hello, Public Factory. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I speak to Dan Patrick or, or Colin Cowherd or Skip Bayless or that ninja Stephen A. Smith? Nah, bro. They not here. Hey, hey, yo, tell them. Dougie Stewart and the Stewie said, since they think they show hot and they sports talk, guy talk soldiers, tell them we'll go to war. Listen up, sports talk show fans and puppet factory refugees. Tired of predictable rants, relentless bullfish, and politically correct propaganda? No worries. Doug Stewart to the rescue. Oh, poke ass Tom Brady! The police think they can shoot a ninja in the back just because he's a ninja? I say, <laughs> yes, sir. Get the hell out of here with that scripted sports talk radio, because you just entered the TDSS zone. Ball peanuts for you. Tell the truth and shame the devil. I don't know what they want from me, man. I, I feed them, and I clothe them, and I rejuvenate them. <laughs> Inflation, baby. Buckle up, boys and girls, and get ready to ride raw. With the realest, trealest sports and guy talk show in the world. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah! Let's go! in my ear, but that shit come down here. Anyone else that won't hurt, you can trust it. Ain't no fear, you can talk in my ear. 
we got to get into today man and we will do that but first can i get my man fabulous to bring it back nice bring it back bring it back yes sir one more time one more time you are locked and loaded and listening to the real and shrill sports and guy talk show in america Yeah, good morning, man. Welcome to the Doug Stewart Show. I really do appreciate you joining your boy and tuning in. Uh, Shouts out, good morning to all of the Stewies and all of them folks, man. I'll tell you what a Stewie is here in a second. Speaking of which, if you are new to the Doug Stewart Show, all right, if this is the first time that you've ever tuned in, first of all, shame, shame on you that you've never listened before. We've been doing this show for about two and a half years now. Uh, But if it is your first time, man, there's a couple of things I need you to do. I need you to go to Spreaker.com if you're not already there. Go to Spreaker.com, that's Speaker with an Aura. Search and find Stuart Media and Entertainment. Hit the follow button so that when this show, there's a little follow button, so that when this show or any other show on this network goes live, you'll get an alert on your phone through Facebook, through Twitter, or just an email. And the second thing I need you to do is to click on the little chat bubble icon. We have the best chat room in the world. I call it the Fantasy Island of Sports and Guy Chat, and it's inhabitants, the people inside that chat room. I've already mentioned them. Those people, I call them the Stewies. Good morning, Stewies. Yeah. So post your thoughts in the chat room. I read it all throughout the show. It makes this the most interactive sports and guy talk show in America. Obviously, we talk about the sports, but we also get into a bunch of other things, man. Shenanigans, fun, uh, entertainment, social issues, politics every once in a while. We probably shouldn't, but we do every once in a while. And uh, bottom line, just plain fun for three hours, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern time. We have themes to the different days of the week. Like today is a throwback Thursday where we go back to a particular year in sports, entertainment, and beyond. So today, in honor of the Golden State Warriors and really one of the biggest catalysts of their turnaround from being one of the worst teams in the NBA to one of the best teams in the NBA, the year that Steph Curry got drafted was 2009. So we're going to take it back to 2009 and talk about everything that went on in that particular year. Like in 2009, the World Series champions were the New York Yankees. Your Super Bowl champions were the Pittsburgh Steelers. The NBA champions were the Los Angeles Lakers. (laughs) Yes, sir. Oh, boy. One of the last times in the last few years that the Lakers have been on top. Sugar was falling from the sky. Uh, U.S. Open golf champion that year was Lucas Glover. Speaking of which, that starts out today. Uh, Wimbledon, Roger Federer and Serena Williams. National College uh, NCAA football champions were the Alabama Crimson Tide, which new, and your basketball champion were the North Carolina Tar Heels, which new. So I got a bunch of little facts and figures of a bunch of things going on in 2009. We got music from 2009. We'll have a lot of fun with that as well. We'll get into all of the sports. Um, Durant said, what about Kyrie? The Falcons, day two of OTAs. Uh, some NFL talk. Miles Garrett in the news. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins endorses Savage. Randy Moss gets honors. D'Angelo Hall still hanging on. Uh, Jerry West leaving for a new gig. Richard Sherman's in the news as well. A little Braves talk. And the big story of today is, and you know what it is. It's a done deal, man. It's a wrap. It's going to happen. August 26, 2017, Las Vegas, Nevada. And we'll give you more details about this in the next segment. But Las Vegas, Nevada, man, Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather Jr., get it on! (laughs) 
Hey, listen, man. Most of y'all listening right now, we get new listeners every day, but most of y'all listening right now know where I stand on this thing. I've said it since the very first rumor came out that this might happen. I said that it was going to happen. It's going to happen because it makes sense. It makes monetary sense for both fighters. Um, but I will say as well, you see the title of today's show, I have to have said all of that, and I'm going to watch the fight just like most of y'all are. Uh, it's a sham. It's a goddamn sham. It's a sham of a fight. Um, there's no way on God's green earth that Conor McGregor is even going to be competitive in this thing. But guess what? We love train wrecks. We love to see people get their asses kicked in America. And this is going to be no different. You ever notice and think about this man and talking about this? This thing has been talked about probably for like the last, I don't know, probably eight months. Uh, Maybe five, six, seven months or something like that. And you ever notice that there was never a question. Um, It was never even on the table that Floyd Mayweather Jr. would fight MMA style. Like, like he do, you know, what Conor McGregor is, is, is good at and trained at and has been so successful at. There was never a question of Floyd Mayweather Jr., you know, uh, fighting MMA UFC style. You know why? Because that's silly. And Floyd Mayweather Jr., you can say all you want about him, but Floyd Mayweather Jr. doesn't do anything silly. As a matter of fact, Floyd Mayweather Jr. may not be able to read past a third grade level. <laughs> Right. He may not be able to read very well, but he's very smart. He's very business minding. He's very calculating. Um, And this is what he does. It was never a question of him getting in there and fighting MMA because that would be silly. Just like it's silly to think that Conor McGregor, a guy that's never fought professionally, never been a boxer professionally, can go in there and possibly win a fight. Not even just win a fight, even be competitive in a fight against one of the greatest to ever do it. And that's another thing. You can talk your ass off all you want. You may not like Floyd Mayweather Jr., but he is one of the greatest fighters of all time, 49 and 0 for a reason. He's fought a bunch of big fights, a bunch of well-known, legendary-type fighters, and he has kicked all of their asses. This guy has not even been knocked down, okay? He's never even been knocked down. I think his glove has touched the ground maybe one time before, but he's never been knocked down. So the whole thing is a sham. I will say that I do believe this will probably be at the end of the day because of the hype surrounding it. It'll probably be one of the biggest paydays in fight history in this country. Maybe the biggest of all time. And despite it being a sham, uh, I'm going to see it. Now, I'm not going to pay for it with my money. No, hell to the no. I'm not paying for my money. Uh, what I'll probably do is go over to one of my boys' houses, you know, take a six-pack of beer, you know, and I'm Gucci. Yeah. Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bring a six. I'm going to bring a six-pack, all right? And I'm going to watch that fight. But I'll be damned if I dig into my pocket and pay $100 for this sham of a fight. More details on it, some of your thoughts, some of your reaction as it is done. Once again, August 26th, Mayweather McGregor. We'll get into it more in three minutes. Don't go away. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Trees. My game's strong like Hercules. Her ass cheeks was hurting me. Poking out them black capris while we. St- 